Hi there. So in the previous lesson, we learned the following properties, uh, background color, image, size, repeat. And in this one, we're going to learn two more, background position and background attachment. So let's get started. All right. So as you can see in HTML, we created a div with class A. And then in CSS, uh, we set the height to 300 pixels and the width to 500 pixels. And also by using the property background color, we set an orange color for it. And also with background image, uh, we set the image that you see in the block right now, uh, the little chess piece. And with background size and background repeat, we also set the size of this image to 100 by 100 pixels. And we learned all these properties in the previous video lesson, so you should be already fa fairly familiar with all this. And now let's discuss the properties that you don't know yet. Uh, let's start with background position. All right, so this property, it sets the position of the background image within the block, okay? So the value of this property consists of two parts. The first part is the horizontal position, and the second one is the vertical position. If uh, the background position property, you set the values as left top, your image is gonna be, gonna be placed in the left top corner. So left top is actually the default value. And indeed, as you see, our image currently is in the top left corner. If you set the value to left center, then the image is gonna be in the left hand side horizontally, and vertically it's gonna be centered. So as you see it right now. And if we set the value as left bottom, then it's also going to be on the left hand side, but now it's gonna be in the bottom corner. So basically in the lower left corner. And if we set it as center center, then the image is going to be strictly in the middle of the block, in the center of the block. All right, good. So you understand the logic behind all this, and you can see all the possible combinations on the screen. So let's see how it works in practice. All right, we're gonna write background position left center. And as you can see, our image is positioned uh, on the left side and vertically toward the center. But what if we change the value to center center? Well, in that case, the image gets placed in the center of the block. And if we set it to right bottom, then the image gets placed to the bottom right corner. All right, now we know how the background position property works. Uh, let's try another property, background attachment. And this property is used to set the behavior of background image when uh, scrolling the page. It only has two values, scroll and fixed. So the fixed value specifies that the image will scroll and the second one that it will be fixed. Pretty simple. So let's write background attachment fixed and let's see what happens with our image. The, the position's fixed and if you scroll the page up or down, the position doesn't change. As you can see, this is similar to position fixed, uh, but in this case, we're fixing the position of the background image instead of the position of the block. Makes sense, right? So let's see how these values work in practice. All right, so let's create a div with class block in HTML. And in CSS for the block class, we're gonna write width 400 pixels and height also 400 pixels. And also we're gonna write background color, let's set it to orange. Okay, so here's our block. And let's find a picture on uh, pixabay.com to use as the background image. All right, let's use this one for example. We're just gonna copy the URL and write background image, then URL, and we're gonna set the URL is gonna be the path that, to the image that we just copied. And in addition to that, let's make it so that our image, it doesn't repeat. So we're gonna write background repeat, and for the value, we're gonna write no repeat. And also we need to set the size. So background size, 100 pixels by 100 pixels. All right, so let's save it and refresh the page. And here's our image. And by the way, uh, we set the size as uh, 100 by 100, but our image appears stretched out. Well, that's because originally it wasn't a square. So that's why we're gonna remove the height and that way it's gonna automatically adjust proportionately, just like that. All right, so now let's position our image vertically to the center and horizontally to the left. So for that, we're just gonna write background position And first goes the uh, horizontal placement. So we're gonna write left. And vertically we said that we want it at the center, so we're just gonna write center. 
All right, let's save it and refresh the page. And as you can see, the image is positioned vertically uh, in the center and horizontally to the left. So now let's position it to the center of the block. And for that, we're gonna write center, center. Let's refresh the page. And now we see that our image is directly in the center of the block. All right, so now let's add several paragraphs to our page. Let's just copy and paste it several times to so that we get a scroll bar. All right, there, now we've got it. And as you can see, when I scroll the page, the image also gets scrolled. So let's add a few paragraphs more, just like that. And background images have the background attachment property set to scroll by default. So I, if I set the value to scroll, nothing's gonna change. So now let's uh, we're gonna replace scroll with fixed and you're gonna see what happens. So let's refresh the page. And now we can't see the image anymore. Now why is that? What's the reason for that? Well, the reason is, as I mentioned previously, that background attachment fixed behaves the same way as position fixed. So that's why the background image gets positioned relative to the window, not relative to the block. So in other words, our image is actually positioned somewhere right here. So let's align the block to the center and see if our image uh, reappears again, okay? So for that, we're gonna write margin zero. That is the, the vertical offset is gonna be zero. And horizontally, it's gonna be auto. All right, so this way, we're gonna align our block to the center. And now we can see the image on the screen, right? All right, so that worked, okay. And also this, this image is centered both vertically and horizontally relative to the browser window. And now if I scroll to the browser window, we can see that the image is fixed in the same position. All right, now let's change the position from center center to center top so that we can see it better. All right, as you can see, the image is fixed to the top of the screen. So as you can see, when we scroll the page all the way up, part of the image gets cut off because it goes outside of the block. All right, so this is how background attachment works. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.